So you've had your current ISP engineer around, he's told you that you're now on the latest fiber speeds in your area, and they've even gone and replaced that three year old router with the latest model. But your Wi Fi still sucks. Well, all is not lost, and it comes in the form of enterprise Wi Fi. Now in order to explain why a dedicated access point is going to benefit you more than say one that your ISP provides you with, we first have to understand how the two are different. Usually an ISP provided router will do multiple tasks in that it will be acting as a modem or gateway to the internet as well as an internal routing device or switch for telling all of your devices where to look for internet access and on top of that giving said access to devices wirelessly like an access point and this is where the problem lies. You essentially have one device doing three separate jobs. First is the modem, which converts the information sent over a DSL phone line from analog to digital to deliver it to your router. A modem can also have a cable or coaxial connector on it, which looks like a TV aerial and are usually considered higher speed than their DSL counterparts, although they are both typically the same thing in that they are your external connection to the internet, and essentially that is the side that deals with your internet access. Next is the router. A router is exactly what it sounds like, a device used for routing packets of data to and from devices or networks in order for them to be able to speak to each other. It also takes the information given to it from your modem and delivers it to your connected devices. The final part of the puzzle is Wi-Fi. Most routers provided now, either by your ISP or bought independently, have Wi-Fi built in, meaning you can wisely connect your devices such as laptops or tablets to your router, which in turn routes you out to the modem giving you internet access. Simple, at least if you break it down. And that's exactly why having a separate access point is vital in making sure you have quality wireless signals. You can buy individual co components to do each of those jobs. A modem that sits in front of your router, a router for connecting your local devices to the internet, and a separate wireless access point for connecting your wireless devices. Splitting these jobs up means less strain on the one device that would normally be doing it all, ultimately giving you a lot more stability while doing so. Think of it like you're trying to juggle at the same time as trying to shake someone's hand and texting on your phone all at the same time. Doing them separately or having multiple people doing those jobs is going to be way more efficient than you doing it all at the same time. Bit of a worst case scenario, but there you have it. So, explanation out of the way, that's what brings us to this. Ubiquiti's Unify AP, which is a scalable enterprise access point. There are a few different models in this range, and they are the AC Lite, which we have here, the LR version, which stands for long range, the EDU version with public address capabilities, making it ideal for deployments around campuses or schools, the Pro version and the outdoor version. While our light unit is the smaller and cheaper of the bunch, it will be more than enough to deploy in a home environment, which is what I'll be doing. The unit itself is constructed of plastic and fixes to a bottom plate that you mount onto your wall or ceiling. It has an LED lit ring on the top of the device which lights up certain colours to let you know its current state. The unit itself is pretty small and weighs about 170 grams. It has one gigabit ethernet port that supports PoE as well as a reset button. It comes boxed with a PoE adapter but for those of you purchasing it in the UK you will need to replace the power end as it does come with a US plug on it. So bear that in mind. Inside it has two dual band antennas and supports all the Wi-Fi standards from A up to AC and utilizes both the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies. As you would expect in an enterprise grade device, we also have WPA and WPA2 AE wireless security. It does support guest access, which segregates itself from your personal LAN and allows you to charge for that access directly within the software, which is very cool. It supports per user rate limiting, QoS, and can achieve speeds of up to 867 megabits per second. One of the main advantages of using the Unify equipment is the software that Ubiquiti have designed to work alongside it. It runs on any Windows or Mac computer that's connected to the same network as the access point and is so consumer friendly, meaning it's easy to set up and use and works incredibly well in large scale environments where you might be installing multiple units. It lets you check individual access points if you have more than one. In case you have one playing up, you just hop in and look for any errors. You can check the number of clients connected as well as other stats such as monitoring of bandwidth, current upload and download amounts, and if you want to be super nasty to your little brother or sister, you can kick devices off the network whenever you want, as well as a ton of other more features. I would say it's more geared towards the enterprise market, but another cool feature is the ability to upload a site plan or of a building or premises. 
so you can work out where to place your access points for maximum coverage. So, I guess it's time to put all that jargon into actual numbers and actually test the thing. Time to go to my house. Okay, so I've just got back from the gym. Uh, my girlfriend's out, so this is probably the only chance I'm gonna get to go and plug this bad boy in. So, let's go upstairs. Sorry about the lighting guys, it's uh, pretty terrible in here. Okay, so the moment, Got the Draytech Vigor modem and the PF Sense firewall. Currently using the old BT router as an access point. But it's shit. So, let's go and get the ubiquity. in here. Let me just see if I can turn that ISO up. It's gonna get a little noisy in here. Okay. You can't really see that. Those cables are just terrible. So let's do this. that I've not brought any Cat 5e cables with me and I'm still going to need the BT router uh, to use it as a switch at least until I get a switch so we'll reconvene this later <laughs> 